Welcome back to another property tour in our sunny, beautiful Marbella. And today we've got something very special for you. This is a brand new listing that we're launching on the market right now. A new exclusive from Drumelia, a very special house, fully furnished, priced at 6,990,000 euros plus furniture. Enjoying the most impressive views from the hilltop. We've got the gorgeous La Concha. Beautiful views to the golf course and of course unbelievable views to the Mediterranean Sea. All of this right from your swimming pool and your living room which is so beautifully staged. The plot is two and a half thousand square meters with a beautiful driveway. The house is built over a thousand five hundred square meters. We've got seven bedroom suites and a stunning architecture. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome back and let's get right into it. So this house has two entrances. The first entrance we have over here from the top street, the pedestrian one for your friends and people coming into the house. And then you have the other entrance into the garage straight, which will be used probably by the owners. Out here we have some water features, this big wall that protects us from the street above. And right next to the entrance, we've got this portico. The facade has a mixture of paint and ceramic tiles, some nice elements of landscape that we will see through on. And through this massive door, we enter the property. Straight away, we have marble 1990 tiles in the property. Double staircase with a double height ceiling, a beautiful chandelier, and further windows throughout, giving us lots of light into the property. And a few steps down, which you can see are lit by beautiful LED lights, which in this property there's plenty of LED lights, including the cool LED lights of the ceiling, we are entering the living room. From there you can see some design elements already, which are pretty nice. These wooden features give a little bit more separation to the hallway and are pretty cool to put in some beautiful, gorgeous stuff. The open plan living room concept I think is fantastic. You've got the main sitting area right in the middle overlooking the beautiful views. Then you've got your second TV area over there which is nicely decorated and staged with a fireplace, cool TV and lots of space for storage. And then on the other side we've got the dining with the kitchen which has this really cool marble wall placed there, state of the art by itself basically. And all of this works fantastically with lots of space throughout, beautifully staged, I must say. And all of this area connected with our main terrace with a picturesque view of the golf course and the sea. Green and blue, all together just above your swimming pool, which is impressive, I must say. This house is built on a hilltop, that's what allows it to have this stunning view. And the outside terrace works fantastically. I mean, you've got so many stuff going on over here, starting with this main sitting area. Then we've got a jacuzzi on the floor level. We've got some dining, big table for friends and family, just opposite the kitchen, straight to it. Then you have a further barbecue area over there with its own little portico, giving shade to that area. There's some cool bar stools right inside of the swimming pool <laughs> to enjoy. We've got an infinity big swimming pool from where you can see the views all around. There's a further chill out like a cocktail area inside of the swimming pool over here so you can just sit down in the water nice and relaxed and further sunbathing area over here. The house is east-south facing which means that you have the sunrise morning sun starting all the way over there behind the La Concha mountain and then you've got sun pretty much all day going all around so this being your best spot for sunbathing and then it sets behind the house over there. The location of this property is Paraiso Alto which is close to all sorts of amenities and hotels. About 15 minute drive from Porto Benuz close to La Alquería and Nueva Andalucía over there. Of course you've got several cool golf courses in the area like the one you can see over there and 24 hour security in the neighborhood. 
The house has marble tiles all around and natural stone throughout the whole property, in exception of the ceramic tiles which are placed on the facade of the house, giving it that special characteristic look and why they use ceramic tiles which by the way are imitating travertine marble well i'll explain same as we are doing in our new brand office we're also putting in the facade ceramic tiles because they look very much alike like the marble stone but they are way more practical for maintenance cleaning you almost don't have to do anything compared to marble therefore it's a much more practical solution and still looks awesome so going back to the property, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the living room and dining and kitchen. So we've got the Shuko windows all around the property. Then once again, I have to mention that the property is staged beautifully. All these little details, they are so expensive. The open plan concept, I'm a huge fan of it, but if you don't like, you can easily put a wall over here to separate the two ambience in case you want to cook like a lot in your house. The spaces allow you to do that, even though I would keep it as it is. Then again, here they have used, instead of having a separate dining kitchen and then a separate kitchen island, it's all kind of connected together from the formal dining table into an informal breakfast area, connected again with the big sized island kitchen, which I think is beautiful, works really cool, and is a great design element. Then we've got Miele and Gagina appliances in this white sleek kitchen that is also combined some dark elements over here, same as the breakfast table. Plenty of cooking space over here, lots of windows. The chandeliers are looking awesome as well. And then apart from all of this, you've got another extra area over here for more placement of stuff that you always need in the kitchen. Of course, your champagne, area over there we've got the extractor nicely incorporated in the kitchen island which hides away when you finish but also looks awesome like that gaggy now as well so you can tell that the kitchen is very high quality and of course cooking over here you're enjoying the best views from your house which is amazing Another important detail about this house is that the owner is not the developer. It's actually sold as a second-hand home, even though it's almost not been lived in. What does that mean? That means that you as the buyer would be paying transfer tax on this property as a second-hand home property. Therefore, it's 7%. Whilst if you were comparing this to any other brand new property where you would be paying 10% VAT and another 1.2% tax, being that altogether 11.2%, which is a 3.2% difference just in taxes for buying a property in Marbella, which is like what? 200,000 euros roughly? Incredible, right? By the way, if you want to learn about more about taxes, then we've got plenty of more videos about taxes purchase process on our website. You can check it out. Let's carry on. As we carry on to the other side, through these pocket doors, we have the kitchen connected with the hallway where we started. There's some closet space on both sides for the people that come into the house. And of course, we have a glass lift which goes to all floors, which in the house are actually four floors. Okay, so we're going to check this out. And on this side, we've got the spacious guest toilet next to the entrance. And we enter one of the bedrooms, which at the moment they're used as an office because there's lots of bedrooms in the house, but we count it as a proper bedroom. Why? Because it's spacious, it has its own ensuite bathroom as well, closet space. This can be easily changed into a bedroom like that, even though it's also a great office, which would mean that you have, if you carry on using this as an office, you have no bedrooms on this floor, which again is really practical to have your family bedrooms downstairs and then the guest bedrooms downstairs. Lots of windows, your own exit to the main terrace as well we were before, and that's pretty much it. And now let's carry on upstairs, back to the hallway with the double height, the gorgeous chandelier, and then have a look at this window, which frames the sky, being such a beautiful element to look into whilst you're walking through here. So one of the two marble staircases take us up onto the second floor, which of course you can access with the lift. So we've got a nice lobby over here, the master bedroom, of course, being behind this wall. We've got some nice mirrors as well, which is always nice and gives amplitude to these spaces. One bedroom over here, another bedroom over here. Let's start with the master. Wow, come on, this is one of the best rooms of the property. Very spacious, generous, beautifully decorated. I love this wall element with the bed positioned right in the middle. Huge, chunky bedside tables. You've still got plenty of space for your sitting area, your morning coffee, enjoying the morning sunrise. Beautiful, 
Then over here we have the stunning walk-in closet which can be accessed through these pocket doors for privacy. It's got its his and her side to it. Very spacious, lots of storage space. Beautiful glass doors with the black railings and LED lights throughout. We give it that extra luxury touch to the wardrobe. Got mirror, islands, pretty much everything you need to store all your beautiful clothes overlooking the magnificent golf and sea views. And on the other side, through the same pocket doors, we access the master bathroom, which if you follow me along, I will show you in just one minute. But before I do that, I'd like to also position that there is a cinema projector incrustated in the wall above the bedroom. So if you close all of this, you close the pocket doors, close the doors, close the windows, bring the shutters down, the screen comes down over here and you can enjoy a beautiful movie from your bed. Cozy makeup area that brings us to the master bathroom. It's massive and it's so light. We've got the beautiful views right off your bathtub. Then there's lots of storage space created on both sides as well. White marble on the floor, on the walls, with the onyx incrustated above the vanity as a countertop. Big shower with the cascade element, glass doors, and a separate water closet as well. So, all together, a very generous size master bedroom. I love it. And of course, the best part as well, that it's enjoying its own private terrace out here with the best possible view so that you can just come out here and be on your own, sunbathing, reading, meditating, whatever it is that you like to do when you're on your own, away from everyone else. And for the daredevils, you can even jump in your own pool from here. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, beautiful, right? Well, there are still two more bedrooms to check out on this floor before we go into the party living room area. So let's check it out. The bedrooms are positioned on each side of the master bedroom. Through this door, we enter one of them. Immediately, we can see the bathroom en suite, which is, has marble throughout, big shower as well, lots of space, windows, beautiful. There's a lot of storage space, a little bit more than the usual amount that you would have in such a bedroom. Spacious, you've got enough space for the extra working desk overlooking the views as well further window to my left with the greenery that was very generously planted on both sides of the house to give it privacy from the neighbors. And then on the other side, we have the other bedroom. Nice wallpaper, gray color matching also the gray design of the marble. Plants. <laughs> and then we have pretty much the mirror opposite bedroom from the other side with the same bathroom even though now it's a bath instead of the shower again quite a lot of wardrobe space the same desk sea views windows pretty much all you need is in here so that means there's three bedrooms on this floor then we have the office downstairs which if you count as a bedroom would be the four bedrooms in the main house and the rest of the bedrooms are also in the basement you ready to check it out let's go and this is the place where you spend the most time with all your friends and guests. But before I explain it, I'd like to say that it also has three bedrooms en suite in different corners of the property, which have different layouts, different concepts to them, and therefore can work very differently for different needs. Different, 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 different. Therefore, for example, this bedroom suite has its own kitchen, has its separate entrance, and is next to a big laundry, therefore maybe stuff or something like that, and the other guest suite, they all have windows, by the way, natural light, ventilation. This bedroom suite over here is also en suite with lots of wardrobe space. And then there's another third secret bedroom suite, which enjoys marvelous sea views from this level as well. We've got the Thyssenkrupp lift that goes to all floors. And finally, the entertainment area, which works so cool because it's so open plan and incorporates different areas to it at the same time. You've got the billiard table, then the cinema room over here, which is huge, okay. And over there, we've got the, before we show you that, let me show you as well. We've got the spa and gym overlooking the sea. Come on, that's pretty awesome. We've got the sauna, 
and plenty of space to do pretty much all you want and even if this was a gym you can open up all these windows that are floor to ceiling and use all the outside covered porch for more gym equipment for instance or just have another chill out area over here with the sea views beautiful another corner private away from the rest of the house so that's the beauty about this house there are so many different little corners and they all work together, same as this terrace works very nicely with the terrace above because it has a staircase connecting it to the main pool. So if you're working out out here, you're sweaty, you wanna go right in the pool, just go out the staircase, dip, you're in the pool. Beautiful LED lights. And then we get to my favorite part of the house, which is this area over here with some chunky sofas, rightly positioned right next to the bar. Mirrors on both sides give you so much amplitude, funky decoration, paintings on both sides. Check out the bar with the LED lights, mirror and wood paneling which gives it a really cool touch. Then most importantly in this bar we've got four wine fridges, two on this side and two on that side. And everything is so well thought through. Even the window with some natural light has further wooden planks, lots of greenery to it which creates that special atmosphere. I love it. I mean, you can spend lots of nice time in here for sure. Really cool paintings. You've got mirror all around and wait, the secret bedroom right over here, which as promised has its own separate walk-in closet, bathroom, nice bed with its own private terrace also overlooking the sea. A very practical layout and still a lot of things to show you. Let's carry on. All right, so one of the most impressive features of this house, which I left for last, is this garage, where you can fit at least 10 massive cars, up to 20 cars, depending on how you can position them. This garage can be a perfect reason to buy this property, because if someone who loves cars, it's so hard to find a garage of this side in your own villa, which is absolutely impressive. If you don't need so much space, then you can connect, close it off, Two other rooms, here you have the pretty cool double height ceiling which then connects through this glass into the gym area so you can get all this connected and do some pretty cool things if you want to or leave it like a massive garage for all your cars. And now follow me along here. And the best part that you have sea views even from your own garage. Come on, that's so awesome. Out here there's also plenty of space to maneuver with the car. You can put even more cars out here as well because the house is so much elevated in respect to the bottom road which has very few traffic you still don't see it and you don't hear it well ladies and gentlemen this was the end of our property tour i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like we've got plenty of more cool videos coming soon and if you have missed our last property tour from last week together with bruna check it out in the link over here that was more of a vlog style so please share your thoughts which style do you prefer more the vlog or the more prepared like today. Thanks for watching.